Hello, it's John Burford here. This is my advanced tutorial in tramline trading. Now, if you haven't yet watched my introductory video on the essentials of tramline trading, then I recommend you start there and then watch this video afterwards. It should become a lot clearer if you go to the uh, introductory one first. Now, the main feature of tramline trading, which is a system, by the way, that I've developed over the years, uh, is that it gives you excellent points at which to enter a trade and also excellent targets to exit a trade. And that's what I'll be focusing on today, how you establish your targets for exiting a profitable trade. Now, in the, in, in the um, introductory video, I focused on obtaining low-risk entries. I will also explain how you use tramlines to adapt to a significant change in market direction. For example, where a rising market looks like it's turning into a falling market, you will need to start drawing tramlines in the downward direction. And interestingly, you can then use both sets of tramlines, the upward and downward sets, to give you very useful information. Now this will all become clear in, in the examples. So let's go back to the market situation uh, that I was looking at in my first video. That is the gold market, uh, which I think is of interest to some of you. In, the, um, in late August, you can see from the chart here, in late August we had a, an all-time high rally right up to here, 1912 area. Then a lovely five-wave move down to the 1700 area. And then a rather more leisurely rally right back up to the old high. In fact, it just exceeded it by a few pips, but it, all intents and purposes, it's almost on an equal basis around the 1920 level. Uh, now, this illustrates, by the way, a very important point um, in, in markets. They uh, usually form a lot faster than they rise. And some inf important information can be gleaned from that as well. But that's another that's for a subject for another for another uh, tutorial. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, at the subsequent rally off this uh, off this low here. So what I'll do is I'll just squeeze it up, give you a lot better uh, view of it. There we go. Now let's see if we can find some tram lines. Now I'm looking at the lows in a rising market. By the way, I always look at the at the lows first, see if they give me any 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 straight lines. I think I found one here. Let's go up to my uh, trend line, generating line up here, click on that, and then what I'll do, I'll go to this first low here, and then uh, there we go, pretty much like so. Okay, I think that looks like a pretty good tram line to me. You've got a touch point here, here, several here, loads here, that one there, spike, that spike low here, and those two there. So there's a lot of touch points. Very, very solid tr tram line is that one. Now, now I've ignored this part here for the moment. That um, is typically the case when I see um, a very big uh, down move like this, a very, very rapid descent. Often it overshoots. So I find this absolute low here sometimes, not always, but sometimes of less significance than the first dip from the subsequent rebound. So that's the first dip there. Okay, let's see if we can find some tram lines. I've got my parallel line generator there. I click on that, grab the line that just pops up, and what do I find? I find a very nice tram line here. It connects this high. There's a little spike above there, and it hits that high there. Those are um, those are pretty good points. So I've got a pair of very nice tram lines describing the the rally from the 1700 low down here. Okay, now um, as you know, I'm a, I specialize in in looking for tram line breaks. I'm a bit of a break enthusiast. Um, so when I saw the market uh, in this region here, playing with this tram line here. Um, I naturally had to put a, a short selling order in this region here below the tram line. I felt that if the market could get down below this line and get down below these lows especially, then it probably had a good uh, chance of, of going even lower. And of course that's exactly what happened. It moved out to here, but then we had a rally. 
which is fairly typical. Once you have a tramline break, then you normally get a rally back up to the tramline, at least try to anyway. Sometimes it makes it in, in what I call a kiss, other times it doesn't. Anyway, we'll have a look at that later on. Now, the, the thing about tramlines is you can draw uh, several of them parallel to the original one. So let's grab that tramline here, uh, that line, and then we're looking at about that as the parallel and equidistant. Remember, it must be equidistant from that point there, that line there, rather. And sure enough, this is a significant touch point here. Here's some significant points here. Had a bit of an overshoot here, got a bit carried away, but quickly corrected itself. So now we're looking at a, at a rally back up. Don't forget, I'm short here, um, and I have a stop somewhere in this region here following my 3% rule. All right, let's see what, how, how trading progressed from there. Let's uh, move this forward a little bit. This is an interesting part here. The market, as you can see, rallied a little bit further. It carried up to this point here, but see the, the gap here. It, it didn't quite make that gap, and it fell back down. Now, as the market was rallying, I was, of course, putting in the tram line. So let's squeeze that up and see how that looks. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Now, let's see if I can find any trend lines on this rally. We start with this low point. And sure enough, here's my first tram line on this rally. We've got a lovely touch point there, lovely points here. And this is the, um, this is the exception to the rule that I mentioned. <laughs> well, I am using this, uh, uh, this low here. Uh, in fact, I could have used this low. This was uh, nearly a, a, a touch there. That, that's within tolerance. Let's uh, draw in a parallel tram line. There we are. And look at this. Isn't this pretty? Got a perfect touch here, a perfect touch there, and the third time lucky there. Isn't that lovely? That's, that's a beautiful uh, tram line there. But, and as the market was rallying, of course, because I'm tending towards the bearish side on gold um, simply because uh, of, of many other factors that, uh, which I go into in my emails which I'm sure you you read I'm sure you read those um, when this when the market made the new high here if this was a genuine set of tram lines this new set here you'd expect the market to rally up up to here to this tram line then maybe bounce back down and keep going up in this fashion but of course, we, we know what happened. The, uh, the market didn't get above this point here. It came down here, and I was waiting for it here because I did suspect, based upon this lower momentum, this is a negative momentum divergence, there to there. That's a higher high there. That's a lower momentum. That's another aspect of trading that I use extensively. Uh, then I, I suspected this might well be the top of the rally. And sure enough, I, I shorted it there again and had a massive plunge down, but then a relief rally here. Let's draw another tram line parallel to, um, to those two. There we are. That's about right. So we see here that the, um, that the uh, selling was uh, overdone a bit. It tried to correct it. It tried to get back up, as I say, came back down, a little overshoot, um, came down to this, up, up to this line rather, and then finally failed, fell away, and sure enough, um, we, we, we had a, 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 um, a, a move down. So let's see if I can find a fourth tram line. That's the third one. Let's uh, play around with this. This could be interesting. Uh, that's about right, I would say. Okay. Market again um, got excited and um, overshot this line here, tried to make it back up, but couldn't make it and it's falling away here. Let's see what uh, subsequent trading... Do. Oh yes, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Sure enough, it's falling, falling away. I could keep going with these tram lines. Eventually they'll run out of uh, significance, but I think you'll find that, um, uh, that, that, that if you draw several tram lines parallel to the first... Don't forget, this was the first one. This is the upper one. And that's the third one, that's the fourth one. You could probably keep going for quite a few until it stopped uh, having any meaning. By that time, of course, a new set of tram lines would be operative. So let's, um, let's see what happens here. We're short, don't forget. 
and sure enough uh, the market is falling away I think we all know that okay let's keep going ah there's a rally there isn't there I'm going to um, I'll, I'll extend it to the latest trade this is the uh, end of trading on Friday I'm recording this uh, two days after the uh, Friday collapse to the eight, to the uh, 1640 level let's see what happens uh, let's get rid of all those tram lines I think we have enough trading here on the downward direction to form a new set of tram lines this is a very significant high here uh, let's see what happens if I connect to those okay that is a possible tram line it's worth exploring that it didn't quite make it here but that's all right it certainly made it that's a beautiful touch point beautiful touch point here a little bit of jiggling here and falling away there let's see if I can draw another tram line that uh, that makes sense um, yes indeed there we are it captures this point that point that point that point and that point very significant okay so that's a very substantial um, uh, pair of tram lines now of course I could only draw that uh, when all this trading had been put in place here I, I, because th th those are the last of the touch points to give me confidence but certainly as the market was falling down here I could have predicted we'd get a bounce here in fact I did uh, because of this uh, placing of the of the tram line so we'd got a bit of a bounce nothing much of course on this huge scale don't forget um, you know this is a $50 <laughs> um, uh, matrix here that's uh, that's a lot isn't it um, and certainly when it broke down below here I was a little surprised it did by the way but it certainly made it um, in, in a plunge like fashion down there let's see if um, if it came down to another tram line let's draw one equidistant and parallel I should say that's roughly that's about right this is the third tram line now when the market had broken this point here you could certainly place this line on your chart and of course predict that that's where the market would fall to that would be a good place to exit short trades if you're a very short-term trader these are excellent points of course to short anywhere along this line here anywhere along this line excellent places to take profits if you're a very short-term trader and and you would be looking to short simply because the slope of the line is down so it's a down sloping tram lines uh, it's a it's a bear market so you want to be trading from the short side not the long side here okay so this is the situation we have here uh, the market is 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 has reached the tram line short-term traders were taking profits on Friday afternoon all right let's take a look at another example here in the euro let's get rid of that this is um, as of Friday this uh, this area here this is um, two days ago so let's um, let's see what happens. The the, the market, of course, was um, was up here, around about the uh, 145, 146 area. It um, it had a significant collapse down here as the dollar rallied. We certainly had a lovely rally in this area here. Let's see if we can um, do something with our tram lines. I'll take that. Now this is the a significant high here. So let's grab the line we'll put it there because we've got a touch point here touch point there touch point there an overshoot here I'm not concerned about that at the moment uh, but I, I'd like to rely on that as, as a pretty good um, tram line go to my parallel tool generator and see whether I can connect up some significant lows yes there they are isn't that lovely okay from here I've got um, some nice anchor points up here this is a significant low certainly that is one two and certainly um, Friday's low here is a significant low so that's a very good uh, tram line let's draw a third one in so uh, well let, let's let's back up a little bit um, f f from this point here we, we could actually have put this tram line in uh, when that spike high was made just in this area here in this trading area here and you could predict that the market would would fall more than likely to this area for short-term profits if you were shorting in this area 
you'd be taking profits in this area. That's quite significant. That's the, um, you know, above 137, and this is 134. That's 300 pips. That's, that's not to be sneezed at in, in just a few hours. Okay, um, the market is bouncing off here, as we can see. Uh, will it reach this level here? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows for certain. That's the whole point about trading. Um, you let the market decide what it wants to do, and then you act. Let's draw a parallel line. That's about it there, I would say. That's equidistant. That's a lovely, these are lovely touch points down here, back here. This gives me a lot of confidence that the extension will be pretty good. Yes, it hits this point here. Okay. Um, what will I do if the market rallies up here? Well, I might short it. Um, <laughs> in fact, I probably will. But um, I'm suspicious of, um, of, of this area here. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll go into that in another video. That's another subject. But anyway, if the market does not, if it does keep falling below this line here, the next target, of course, is on this lower line down here, which is off the scale, of course. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this area here, because that's a, a, um, a what I call a relief rally area. So let's scoot that up a bit. And there we are. That's pretty good. The minute I find uh, the market has hit a, 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 um, a tram line, by the way, I could not have really drawn this tram line in I don't think at the time I might have it would have been very uh, speculative but in any case once I saw this rally here I thought right it's time for a tram line so uh, I will put that in right here I'll use that um, as my no 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 let's get rid of that I'm using that as my anchor point and um, there we are. There we are. Okay, so I've got this is a pretty good a pretty good touch point. That's a little overshoot, not bad. That's a perfect one. These are perfect along here, and so on. So let's draw my second tram line. There's nothing really much here, is there, for me? Um, it it goes between that one and that one, but of course there's that spike there. So I'll put it there as a tentative. I, I know I've only got one touch point here, but I like this area here because we've had a dip down, we've had a little rally up and then a down. So these are the sort of anchor points, as you, as you saw on the first video, I like to see. So I, I kind of like that one. Obviously, when the tram line, the lower tram line broke, that would be the point to short. But this spike here was also a possible shorting point because we had a confluence of this tram line here and that tram line there. And that's usually a very good point. That's like a cup, isn't it? Or, or a, a roof, I should say. <laughs> a cup is the opposite. This is a roof. And when the market comes from underneath, boink, we get it slapped down. Um, it doesn't go uh, through the roof. Uh, to coin a phrase. Okay, let, down here though, this is an excellent place. Underneath the upsloping line, underneath the recent low, that's an excellent place to short the market. Stops up here somewhere, I would say. If you're if you're using wider stops, some some traders like to use very wide stops. Uh, you'd be up here somewhere. Let's see how trading developed. Sure enough, sure enough. We had um, a fall off from this area here. Now, could we predict where the next bounce would be? Let's put in the tram line. Um, I think that's about right there. Yes, indeed. We had a lovely bouncing. There's a little bit of overshoot here, but certainly hugged this tram line here. We had, a, we had an attempt to poke above it. But of course, this is another confluence, um, another roof if you like, uh, from this tram line and that tram line. There's the crossover. It's an X or a roof, and then boink down. It's a little bit cruel. If you, were ha if you were using a tight stop in here, you would be stopped out. That's why you would need to not be disturbed by that. Don't be perturbed. 
Uh, don't be put off. Um, if you're confident the market's going down, and these bars here show pretty conclusively the market's going down, you might want to just jump back in in this area here or put a resting sell stop here underneath this recent low. That's also a very good um, a very good point to enter. This area here is a potential area of support, but of course support gave way. So what I like to do, if I see a roof, which is a confluence, as I say, between an upsloping tramline and a downsloping tramline, um, I like those very much. We've got two on this chart, in fact. Okay, well, that uh, wraps it up for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.